welcome back to another great episode interview series with rabbit coin on youtube channel as you guys know i'm trying to teach you guys how the things going in web3 space and we have a uh, chris dugan he is marketing manager of chain gpt and as you guys know chain gpt one of the successful project and also our portfolio companies they already listed on top tier one exchanges like bybit binance uh, Gate.io, KuCoin, and uh, yeah, we're gonna learn more information, how the things going from ChainGPT side. Chris, welcome, my friend. How are you doing, brother? I'm great. Thank you so much for having me. Happy to be here. Yeah, great. Uh, I'm I'm really a pleasure to have you. So first of all, you know, uh, we have a lot of people in Turkish market. They are loving ChainGPT team and ChainGPT ecosystem because you guys also launch many, many promising projects like GT protocol, like Cookie Tree, AI Tech, Dex Check, and you you really you also uh, catch the AI hype in 2023, and you guys doing very well. I can say that. So yeah. And the first question is Chain GPT is backed by major players like uh, Alibaba Cloud, Google, and BNB. Uh, what have been the most important advantages of having this kind of uh, institutional support? Cool. Well, first of all, let me just give a big shout out to the Turkish community. I mean, I know multiple people in Turkey that are big fans and holders of Chain GPT, and you guys are some of our biggest supporters uh, on Twitter and everywhere else. So we always see you guys. So appreciate all your uh, support and for hyping things up so it's it's really cool to to speak directly to the to the turkish uh, community here um yeah so you mentioned some of the uh, major backers right i think a re really cool one that you mentioned there is alibaba cloud um so we recently did partner with alibaba cloud to get access to some of their gpu clusters for solidity so if you guys don't know uh change gpt has a custom llm which basically helps you um, uh, deploy and audit and create smart contracts uh, with Solidity. And it's not something that it's just like a copy of another product. We actually developed it in-house and we were actually teamed up with Alibaba Cloud to make sure that that is powered. So when we're making those, you guys are making those queries on our website, um, just know that uh, you know, Alibaba Cloud is helping to back that effort. And they're also going to be involved in our AIVM as well. So you guys might have heard we've been sort of teasing this for quite a while now on Twitter, which is our AIVM initiative, which is our layer one blockchain. So this is another uh, amazing product. I think probably like like I was telling you before this call, like I've been with ChainGPT for almost two years now. And I think everything that we've done has been kind of building towards this AIVM product because ChainGPT is going to have its own blockchain. And that blockchain is going to be powered uh, in part by Alibaba Cloud as well. So that's just one of, the, I think, the most important advantages that we're getting right now from them. But uh, you mentioned others, right? We received grants from Google. We receive a lot of support from BNB Chain as well. Uh, we do tons of campaigns. Like we just celebrated the BNB Chain five year anniversary campaign as well. So we get a ton of support. Uh, from them. So yeah, it's it's really cool. And I think we're getting a lot of advantages from uh, some of these these partners and, that we have. Yeah. So yeah, great. Yeah, that, that that's why you're you're doing very well, especially last three years from the you launch and you have built partnership with over 150 Web3 companies and reach over 250k uh, monthly active users, which product has gained the most traction so far and why? Chris. Definitely. Yeah. So, so one, I think from, in terms of the partnership side, that's really exciting to me. I'll just share my screen and show you guys, um, Certic. So you guys probably, you guys probably know Certic, uh, as a, uh, you know, leading security advisor provider in web three. Well, recently Certic has integrated the change uh, API and SDK. And what that means is you can go onto a uh, Certic Skynet tool, which is like a security tool where you can look at tokens, something maybe you want to buy or trade or something like that. You want to see if it's shady. Um, we've seen Certic basically implement ChainGPT's AI. So when you go onto Certic now, let's say you search like some weird <laughs> coin you've never heard of, uh, there's going to be a lot of data there that's really hard for people to understand. And what they're doing now is providing an AI generated summary that is the product of ChainGPT's LLM. Mm -hmm. And people can now learn about the security risks 
of a specific, a specific uh, coin thanks to ChainGPT. So I think this one is really cool because you can see here we have some numbers here that there's like 14K projects that are uh, supported with these summaries. Um, it's increasing their user engagement. Um, you know, there's tons of tokens, like literally millions that can be analyzed uh, using this tool. So this one, I think, has been the most sort of successful partnership for us. Yeah, amongst several. But this is the one that I'm really proud of that we've done this year. Yeah. Great. And where do you see the uh, AI narrative for next cycle? Just just curious your thoughts regarding this matter. Yeah, I mean, it, it's interesting, right? Like we've spent a lot of time talking about uh, AI agents this past year, you know, maybe that sort of hype has has blown over, um, but I'm really excited about AI VM, right? Like I talked about uh, this before. Uh, we released our, uh, our white paper uh, earlier this year. Uh, I'll just pull up this blog that you guys can check out. And what I think is this is going to be the AI narrative, or I guess that's my hope as someone that works for ChangeUPT and really believes and this is, I believe, real product in uh, AI space. Uh, a a v a of course, AVM. yeah, yeah, a fully on chain yeah, AI, AI blockchain. It's yeah, layer one blockchain for ChainGPT, and basically, you guys are going to be able to um, deploy your own AI agents on our decentralized AI blockchain. Mm -hmm. You can uh, buy and sell GPU resource for basically people that are training and launching uh, models on chain with AI VM and a ton of different um, things that you can build on here. We have a whole, uh, like I said, AI agent marketplace, GPU marketplace. You can buy model and data sets and also um, enterprise, enterprise grade audits as well. So this is what I hope is going to be the um, future. Basically, the idea is to take resources um, for GPU and AI computation away from the major players, like we all know who they are, and sort of decentralize them uh, and open them up for the uh, Web3 community. So yeah, AI VM is kind of, I think, the next big thing in Web3 AI. Yeah, yeah great. And we'd love to also talk about the token token side. So you reach sure. around um, 20 million TBL and uh, 85K token holders. How are you ensuring the long-term sustainability and utility of the uh, change GPT token? Yeah, well, one thing I like to say about, you know, ChangeGPT is there's so many cool things within our ecosystem that kind of support uh, owning our token. So this is one token that you really want to own. And I've just brought up here on my screen. You can see sure. here uh, our site and you can see a few of the different things that we have. So a lot of our AI tools are free to use um, to a limit. So if you use them a lot, you're going to want to get to own ChangeGPT token, which you can then use to get um, credits within our system, and those credits can enable uh, additional access to tools like our chatbot, for example. Uh, we also have, I mentioned before, I think our smart contract generator and auditor. We have an AI NFT generator, which you can use to uh, create amazing images that are like competitive with some of the best, uh, um, uh, you know, AI image makers in the market, and also. Uh, uh, deploy them on literally any blockchain. Like we've we've uh, hooked up with almost every single blockchain, so you can mint NFTs on there. Uh, we mentioned AI, AI VM, AI trading assistant, and of course, like we have to mention our launch pads, right? I know you and I were talking a little bit about Change GPT Pad, and also there's Degen Pad as well. The more of the token that you own, the more that you stake, uh, the better. Uh, tier you get on our launch pad, which means you get better allocations from things like uh, IDOs, uh, launch drops. And of course, now I think we're going to talk about it later, IBOs and buzz drops as well. So those are just a few of the ways that we try to keep our token sustainable, giving you tons of utility and use out of it, but also constantly releasing new products to get the community uh, excited. So I think this has been part of the success of the CGPT token. Mm, yeah. Yeah, because because uh, behind the change GPT token, there is a lot of utility, and you you guys already give the community a reason why they are buying your token. So, Definitely. Yeah, th this is this is the main thing, and yeah, as a change GPT labs labs, you you guys uh, incubated a lot of projects and accelerated a lot of projects. What what, what was your uh, favorite project? If I ask this question to you. Yeah, I know you and I were talking about uh, a couple of them, right? I'm going to try to share my, uh, can you see this tab I'm sending here yes, for labs? Yes. 
Yeah, so this is our uh, really cool ChainGPT Labs uh, website. And if anybody doesn't know about it, I'll just give a quick background. So this is the incubation arm of ChainGPT, where we take some of the best up and coming projects and sort of give them funding, marketing support. Like me personally, I'm really closely involved in working with uh, the social media managers in our team. We give training, support, how to do Twitter, how to do uh, podcasts, social media, anything like that to help them be successful. Because, you know, everything from even making them a really cool website like we have here. And you can see here on this list, just a few of the uh, incubated projects, right? So you mentioned GT Protocol, Dex Check. There's Kima as well, we talked about a few minutes ago, I think before we started recording. And uh, you can see some of the successful things here. So one, one that really sticks out to me is GT Protocol. So I think uh, you can see here, we have a dedicated page for each of them. And you sort of have this thing here that says before incubation and after incubation, you can see some of these yeah. numbers, right? So uh, tons of new partnerships, tons of funds raised, their FDV. Uh, social growth, obviously, we calculated it to be about 10,000%. And we have a little bit here about, you know, the work that we've done with them as well and, and uh, what we really like about GT Protocol. So, yeah, I think that's one that really sticks out to me. But there's a really impressive portfolio of uh, Labs projects. You can check it out at labs.changegpt.org. Yeah, the, especially GT Protocol, they launched beginning of the 2023, if I'm not mistaken. And they did very well uh, in terms of uh, TG. They're still doing good, I believe. I also know Vlad, he's a very close friend of mine and uh, yeah. very, very respect. I'm really respect to him. He's a great guy. Um, yeah, this is this is really good. Uh, I, in my perspective, yeah, there is a lot of projects you guys already uh, did very well and uh, with a lot of favorite projects. But if, if I answer this question, I believe the Cookie Tree, one of the uh, most successful incubate, incubation project on your platform. Yeah, I think we're so proud of Cookie and everything they've done, obviously, like with the snaps and stuff like that, too. That's really made a difference. So, yeah, I, I agree. That would definitely be one to pick as well. Yeah. So, yeah, lastly, uh, you also launched a new campaign called Boosdrop. Could you tell us more what Boosdrop and what Boosdrop is and what, what you guys actually do on, the, on this platform? Definitely. So, if you guys are listening to this, you've got to take part in Buzz. Like it's, I think it's the coolest thing that we've done. So this is ChangeGPT Pad. You guys will be familiar with this website if you're a fan of our ecosystem. Uh, one thing we're doing right now are called uh, Buzz Drops and IBOs. And let me sort of explain the difference here. Sure. So let's take one, for example, uh, that we recently did, which is Mirror Token. So this is actually for Black Mirror. So if you guys are fans of the Netflix series, I think everybody has seen this. It's like one of the coolest shows on Netflix, uh, sci-fi, dystopian future type of thing. And they actually launched their official token and they did it through Buzz on ChangeGPT. And the way Buzz works is it's much different than your typical IDO or IBO. The way that you gain allocation or tokens in this case for a buzz drop is by tweeting about a project. That's right. Literally all you have to do, and you can see here on the feed, uh, these are people that have been creating content and tweeting about buzz. All you have to do, guys, if you are someone that wants to get part of this buzz drop, get, get tokens for free, just tweet about it. You have to use uh, hashtags. You have to use... Uh, certain things we have some rules on here on the buzz page if you check it out mm -hmm. basically the more you tweet and it's calculated by a few things like how many smart followers you have you can see here smart followers and other things you get buzz points wow. and based on your buzz points you get a reward of tokens right so you'll be able to claim your tokens once the period is up and all you have to do is tweet about it and this is like a pretty new thing guys right so it's not like you know there, you you can definitely earn from this if you just participate. So we had a ton of uh, participate participants. I think we had uh, almost eight thousand five hundred people tweeting about this uh, project, which I think is really cool because it was only a week long, right? So that's quite a lot of uh, engagement for this. So this is for earning uh, tokens, and this is what we call a buzz drop. And I'll just quickly talk about what we call an IBO or initial buzz offering. And this will be a little bit more familiar uh, to those of us who are um, you know, more familiar with the typical IDO. Mm -hmm. So basically the way this works is same uh, principles. The more you tweet, the more you get on this leaderboard. And this is what allows you to, to purchase a greater allocation of tokens, right? So instead of getting a free amount of tokens like you would in a buzz drop, 
this allows you to purchase tokens as well. So yeah, that's kind of the difference. And we've seen a lot of people really hyped about this new product. So uh, yeah, it's been uh, it's been uh, fun with Buzz so far. Yeah. Great. And I believe the Web3 marketing industry every single day changing and uh, the more new narratives come. And yeah, this is pretty interesting. Thank you very much for a kind presentation. It's, it was very informative. And do you think uh, IDO hype will be back again? What do you want to say to early stage investors from here? Yeah, well, the first thing is, is that if you already own a bunch of tokens and let's say you don't even want to tweet, for example, you can already claim tokens from uh, IBOs or, and uh, uh, buzz drops as well. So basically, uh, just because you don't tweet doesn't mean that you're not going to be able to claim, especially if you have a high tier, you're just going to automatically qualify. It's interesting. You know, I'm not sure what the team is right now. I don't think there's any IDOs planned at the moment. I think uh, if you're a close follower of ChainGPT, you probably noticed that some of the IDOs like weren't as popping off as they were like probably like two years ago. But that's the great thing about Change GPT. We're always coming up with new ways to do things to make sure our community gets value. So I think if Buzz continues with the momentum, uh, I think this is what we're going to go with. But um, it, it's all about what the community wants. So give us your feedback, depending on what you want. I know that'll factor into the decisions we make. Yeah. Great. Thank you very much. I really appreciate that for your valuable insights regarding this. And yeah, thank you, Chris. I really appreciate that. Uh, it was very informative uh, conversation for our community. And if you would like to see more content like this, don't forget to subscribe and turn notifications on, guys. Thank you, Chris. And wishing you all the best. Thank you so much for having me. And again, shout out to the uh, Turkish community. Thanks for all your support. Thank you.